Hey everyone, in this Grim Dawn Basics video, we are going to be looking at armor today. Armor is sort of your character's <clears throat> basic defense against physical damage. There is physical damage resistance in the game that you can build up, which will just flat out reduce physical damage. But armor is usually how it's handled for every regular character in the game. I mean, just for every character in the game, I should say. So the first thing about armor is there's a chance to hit for various areas. What this means is if you're if a, when an attack comes in, there's a roll to determine whether it hits your head, shoulders, chest, arms, legs, or feet. And then it goes on to the armor rating for determining that damage that you're hit with. And then there's also armor absorption which um, I'll get to, because I don't actually have this equation memorized, and I have to go back and forth between my laptop and the game to actually look it up specifically. But the, the first thing to know is armor, there's a roll on where where the damage will go. The most common place to be hit, uh, obviously, is your chest. Um, it has a 26% chance, so about a quarter of the hits you're going to take are going to go to your chest armor. So if you're building a lot of armor on a character, you might want to consider a really high armored chest piece. But before I go into the specifics of that, I wanted to point out that um, if you get armor from something, like say the Obelisk of Manor here, that 150 armor, that is applied to every single piece of armor except your belt and I think maybe your belt's armor is applied like that as well it's just spread out um so it's si so like his belt would be 64 to each armor piece so that 150 is 150 armor to every piece of armor and the reason I'm on this character is I know he has flame touch with a really high temper um a really high temper skill level so plus 56 armor is going to be applied to each armor area when we turn it on. So head is going to jump to over a thousand. Um, shoulders is going to be right near a thousand, upper nine hundreds, and then it's going to be fifty added on everything. So just to prove that, we click on flame touched, and all of my armor jumps up to like a thousand. Jumps up by a chunk. Now, because I have percent, because there's also percent armor in various places, the percent, like the extra armor you gain there, will be chewed through the percents and applied to everything. <laughs> okay, so in Grim Dawn, there's an order of defense that your character goes through. God damn it! Um. The enemies of humanity are relentless, but there are many methods available to keep yourself alive. It is important to know how the various levels of defense stack up. In order for an attack to land, it must make it through the following defenses. Dodge and projectile deflection. So the first layer of defense is your character's dodge and deflect. If your character has a lot of dodge or deflect, the hits will completely blow by. Next is chance to hit via offensive ability versus defensive ability. This I'm going to cover in its own video, but suffice it to say, there's a massive equation for defense, offensive ability and defensive ability to determine whether a hit is a hit or a hit is a crit. And um, the higher your defensive ability, the less likely you are to be hit. So in my, with my character, against an Aether Crystal Cluster, 88% 88, 88 chance he will be hit by something, 0% um, chance to be crit by that thing. And then so on and so forth down the line um, for for monsters. Bosses have higher OA um, and higher DA, so you're, you'll be less likely to crit them, and they'll be more likely to hit you and crit you. But yeah, higher defensive ability means less damage for you, period. The next step down is damage absorption, because the, con the confirmation of hit crit is on offensive versus defensive ability. And I should also note, if you, if you look closely, dodge and deflect, doesn't matter what your OA and DA, what the OA of the attack is and your DA is, um, that'll just blow through. You don't even need high DA to have good dodge deflect. Um, so after the hit confirms, your damage absorption, which in this case is for this guy is a lot. Um, I don't remember where that is on the character. If it's on the character, sh if it's shown on the character at all, actually. 
Um. Okay, whatever. Uh, I will point out that for him, his damage absorption is 18%, which means 18% uh, of the damage is just chopped off. Then it goes to your armor, then to your resistances, and then to your shield if you're wearing a shield. And shields are going to be covered in another video as well. This is, strictly speaking, the armor video, but I figured I'd cover the order of defense in it because it's right here. So, the armor formula. <clears throat> It suffices to say that the more armor you have, the less physical damage you will take. But there are some rules as to how armor functions that make it a little deeper than that. Armor in Grim Dawn has both a defense value and an absorption value. By default, your absorption is 70% across all your equipment. Whenever you take a physical damage hit, your armor will absorb some of the damage, up to the up to the percent of your armor absorption, but anything above your armor goes completely through. So, um, I will also point out, that I forgot to point out, your, your armor absorption, if you get it increased on a single piece, I think it only applies to that piece, but there are certain things that will increase it all over the board. Like, um, I believe it is on... God, where is it? Um, I know it's on something. Is it the Autumn Boar has it? No, 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 no. I know it's on uh, an easily, easily point outable thing. Um, some there we go. Uh, so it increases armor absorption by five percent on the shield maiden. Well, you have a shield, obviously. Um, that would apply to all of your armor. So all of your armor would get a five percent absorption boost. So some examples. You have a you have. <laughs> you are attacked for 100 damage, and the attack hits, your, hits you in the torso, which has 50 armor. In this case, you take 65 damage. 50 of the damage goes through, because it's above your armor, while the remaining 50, protected by your armor, um, is modified by your absorption. In this case, that it, it says it has 30%, so um, which means 15 will get through for a total of 65. So... <clears throat> in a similar vein, if this character is hitting the torso for, say, 2,000 damage, 1,123 of that is cut off. So let's say that's just 1,000 damage going through, and that's absorbed. 50 of the damage goes through immediately. Okay, yeah, so like 1,000 of that damage goes through immediately. The remaining armor is, ab is absorbed up to about 70% of that, if that makes sense. <laughs> um... It's kind of hard to do it when you have like a lot of a lot of uh, like one 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 two three is the the number. But if you have like a thousand armor and you hit for two thousand damage, a thousand of that damage just goes through. The remaining is would be reduced by um, your armor absorption, leaving the thirty percent behind, <clears throat> which would be a three hundred. So yeah, that would be he'd be taking one thousand three hundred damage then. Just to, I believe that that would be my rough estimate. Um, so another example, you're attacked for 100 damage. This attack hits you in the head, which has 124 armor. In this case, you will take 30 damage. Because even though your armor is higher than the damage inflicted, 30% of that damage will always go through your armor absorption. So if this character were hit for 1,000 damage to his to his head, which has 1,027, um, he would take 300 because there's still 30% going through his armor. So you are attacked for 100 damage, and the attack hits your head, which has 124 armor. But this time, you also have a 20% bonus to your armor absorption. In this case, you will take 16 damage, because armor absorption is 70% times 1.2, or 84%, which allows you to absorb 84 damage from a 100 damage hit. So if he were hit for 1,000 damage in his head, and he had the 84% 84, uh, 84 he would take the 160 damage. I mean, I'm just adding zeros onto this. But that is more or less armor. Armor only affects physical attacks. But physical attacks... Back. Okay. But physical attacks are the most common attacks in the game. 
by far. That's basically an enemy walks up and swings their, their weapon at you and hits you. That's a physical attack. Um, obviously, there are tons of attacks that go to your resistances as well, and your physical resistance would further reduce physical attack damage you take. So, um, there's a lot going on with your armor. But to sum up, you, you have a flat armor rating. That armor rating, um, any damage below it gets sent to your armor absorption, which is reduced to 30% of whatever that damage was, or by 70%, however you want to look at it. And whatever is above that just goes straight through to you. Physical damage only. And there's a roll to see where it hits. So this character pretty much, if he's hit for 1,000 damage, it's reduced to 300 damage. Anything more than that... Um, and it would just go through and hit him after it goes through the entire order of defenses. So, there isn't a really easy visual way to show off armor um, that doesn't involve me walking into, like, a field and getting smacked around for a bit. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, have to leave it, we'll have to leave it at 15 minutes or so of me just talking about armor. So, thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video, and it helped you a little bit or a lot or to some degree, and I'll see you guys next time.